potential motorcade arrived Eagle Square at exactly 9.30 in the morning, ushered in by the mounted troops and Scottish pipers of the Nigerian Military Guards Brigades. <laughs> After the usual exchange of pleasantry with some of the important dignitaries, the event kickstart with the inspection of guards by the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Muhammad Buhari, mounted by the Nigerian military that comprises Army, Navy and the Nigerian Air Force. Nigeria Police Force, paramilitary that consists of Customs, Immigration, Fair Fire Service and Civil Defense. The rest are Federal Road Safety Commission, Nigeria Legion, and the Nigerian Youth Service School members. The slow march took the center stage, followed by the corresponding quick march pass session, demonstrating unparalleled military command, dexterity, and precision. The high point of the National Independence Day anniversary came when there was a display of the military might of the Nigerian Armed Forces, the spiritual a showcase of machines and equipment which military has in its inventory to combat emerging security challenges. They include Cobra Army trucks, Buffalo vehicles, Army equipment, protection carriers and multi-barrel rocket launchers. Also on display were the equipment in the inventory of the Nigerian Navy which were actively used in rescue operation in Niger Delta and also for counter vandalism purposes. Here came the air warfare show with a total of 22 aircraft demonstrating the manner of the airports protecting Nigerian airspace. Among them are attack helicopters for combat missions intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and patrol of land borders. All the aircrafts were piloted by Nigerians. It is clear that the elaborate celebration of the 58th independence anniversary by the present government has indeed provided a platform of demonstration the gains made in the security sector and the army forces readiness to face emerging challenges in their effort to achieve their mandate of securing lives and properties of Nigeria. Today you have seen what the military, a Nigerian military has done and they have showcased what they have and they are capable of maintaining the territorial integrity of Nigerians. We should be grateful to God that we've been able to celebrate in such a manner that we did. In the last one week we've lined up activities telling Nigerians that prosperity is returning to this country, peace is returning to this country. And President Muhammad Buhari has been able to demonstrate that. As you can see from behind, that's the entourage or the motorcades of uh, the dignitaries now leaving the premises of Eagle Square after the celebrations of 58th independent anniversary of Nigeria. The last time this event took place in this place was 1st October 2010 and you can remember the story behind it, I mean the bombing from Eagle Square, the venue of the independence celebrations of Nigeria, Hassan Umar Farouk, Liberty News.